time when we work with companies is making sure that they have an opportunity to put some of some additional above and beyond bonus dollars into a plan that folks can't touch and they you know if they walk away there's going they're going to leave something on the table yeah the the, the, le the leaving something on the table is relating to vesting mm -hmm. so you can set up vesting schedules within the plan you know always the employees 100 percent vested in their own money mm -hmm. but the employer dollars that are set aside you know, you can put a vesting schedule of 25% per year on each award, employer award, or 20% over, you know, over five years. So that way you do have some retention element. And then at some point you can also allow for um, full vesting upon death, you know, or permanent disability, or attainment of a certain age, you know, for retirement, age 65, or maybe early retirement uh, at age 60 with a certain number of years of service, say 10 years of service. So that way, if they reach those marks, then you're rewarding them uh, by uh, fully vesting their account balance. Yeah, so say someone, um, you know, for, for uh, whatever reason, they're, they're all right, we need to, you know, take some money out of my account. With a 401k, you gotta wait to 59 and a half or you take a loan out, right? And that, that's tricky because that sets you back um, for your retirement uh, uh, success. Uh, you gotta pay back that loan and all, you know, so it's, it's not optimal. And if you take money out before uh, 59 and a half, then you have taxes owed on, you know, what you put in there because it's a pre-tax investment plus the 10% penalty. Right, so nobody looks at it and says, "Optimally, I'm going to I'm going to take money out of my 401k." Um, those are the rules. With this type of plan, it allows you some different flexible distribution options.